Who doesn't like cheese? Everybody likes cheese. I do. You yeah, love cheese. Well, I love cheese. I'm cheesy. <laughs> they all know that by now. Yeah. Well. We have come up with a wonderful plant-based cheese that has enough zip and tang in it. It's just perfect on any kind of dish. And it tastes just like cheese. Stay with us and we're going to show you guys how to whip this up quick. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and get a pot of water started on the stove. So I'm just going to turn this on high. And to make it come up to a boil quicker, I'm going to put a lid on so it retains the heat in there. We'll bring this up to a full boil and then we'll add our potatoes and our carrots. Now we want to peel and chop the potatoes and the carrots. Our water is boiling. Take a look at that, it's at a high roll. What we're gonna do, we drained our potatoes and carrots, so we're just gonna go right into the pot with these. Might make a little mess, just be careful, it's hot. Gonna bring that back up to a boil and let these boil until they're pork tender. All right, so it's through boiling. I'm gonna take this over here and uh, put it in the colander and we're gonna save some of the water because the water is starchy and perfect to, to use later. We are back and the potatoes have been drained in the colander. We're gonna put those straight into the Vitamix mixer. Now we're gonna go in with a quarter cup of raw cashews. We are going to go in with four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This is going to give it a nice cheesy flavor. And I know cheesy. <laughs> Michael, goodness, Michael knows cheesy. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. One tablespoon of onion powder. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And optional, we are gonna put this in. We're gonna have a pinch of cayenne and a pinch of paprika. We reserve two to three cups of the potato water, that, the water that we've cooked the potatoes and the carrots in. So right now I'm gonna go in with two cups because I know I'll need at least that amount. And I have some more over there if I need some additional. All we're gonna do now is put the lid on the blender we are going to turn it on. We're going to let it go high speed and blend this very well. All right, everybody. Oh, look at that steam. Look how beautiful and smooth Ooh, that is. That does look great. We're going to plate this up and we're going to do a taste test. See you in a minute. This cheese sauce is finished and it looks so good. I am going to do a taste test with it, all with some of our crunchy air fried potatoes that we made in our recent video. I'll drop a link uh, to that down in the, in the description box below. I'm also going to taste test it with some tortilla chips. So first, I'm going to just pour a little of the sauce over these potatoes down here, just to give it a try. And they were in our last video, weren't they? They were. It's a good video too. We're going to put a link to that down at the bottom. All right, I'm going to go in and try this. Michael. Mm-hmm. Mm, looks amazing. Oh. How does it taste? It is so creamy. And all those seasonings that we put in there just blended together so well. That vinegar just picks it up a little bit. All that garlic and onion, um, the nutritional yeast, gives it an incredible cheesy flavor. If you mm. guys haven't tried nutritional yeast, you need to try it. I'm gonna try one of these just with a chip and see how that goes. It's like nachos. It's like nachos. It's like going to the restaurant. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. I'm going to say to you guys, it's easy to make this nacho cheese. If you take like six uh, pickled jalapenos and a little bit of the juice from the pickled jalapenos, mix it in there together in the blender, then it could be a really great nacho cheese sauce. Um, you could use a uh, chorizo type uh, product 
and mix it in, make it a really hearty cheese sauce. Um, several different ways. We also have a couple of lighter variations in our recipe that I'll have in the, in the description below. You can make it with white beans or a mixture of white beans and the cashews. It brings down the calorie count considerably. And I don't know about you guys, but when we went plant-based, I think cheese was one of the most difficult things there was to give up. And we found this recipe several years ago. We've been perfecting it and it is so good. We use it all week on our potatoes. We put it on broccoli. We put it on all kinds of roasted vegetables. Um, it's very versatile and it's so tasty and yummy. You guys really need to try it. So I'm glad you joined us today in our kitchen. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. It's called Living the Alley Way. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you always know when we come out with a new video. Bing. And if you, <laughs> Michael's behind the camera. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. It really does help out our channel. And if you have any comments, please drop a comment below. If you give this a try, if you think there's anything we could do to improve it, if you have a better version, we're always interested in hearing about new versions of this. So anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We hope everyone is staying safe. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.